Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Ana Claudia. Hello, how are you? I'm doing very well. How about you? Just fine, just fine. Okay, awesome. What about you? Well, I'm doing better. You know, the remember that I told you my eye was... Yeah, your eyesight was giving you trouble. Yes, it was red. Well, uh, well, thanks God, the doctor, my the one that takes care of my eyes, I don't know how to say in English, would be... Optometrist? No. Uh-huh. Is it correct? Ophthalmologist? Yeah, ophthalmologist. Ah, okay. Well, she was out of the, the, the country because she was in Guatemala, but um, there were some other patients she uh, had to look up. So she worked, she came here to my, to, 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 to the city on uh, yesterday. So she, uh, took me off to, I don't know how to say it, oh, pestañas. <laughs> what? Eyelashes? Eyelashes, exactly. They were making all the problem. <laughs> and maybe... The eyelashes were making... Were exactly, making two of them, but my God. And the, the, the thing is that as I wasn't able to find her on weekend, I was asking to another doctor, a friend of mine. He's also ophthalmologic, okay, ophthalmologic. Yeah. But what happened is that I sent to him the picture. And, and I know it's not the same, like yeah, in person. And he told me, you can purchase this other liquid and blah, blah, blah. So I purchased it, but that was heavy. It was, and uh, it, it made it worse. And that was affecting me more, my eyes. So yes, since yesterday, I'm using another medicine and um, I see the difference. Now it's, it's uh, less red, but it, it will take like around 10 days to get better. But I feel around better. 10 days? Yes. Just imagine I, I never had an issue with in, in my eyes, with my eyelash. I'm yes. surprised. Eyelashes. Yeah. And um, I, I, just because I was thinking maybe it's the blood pressure, maybe is the blood pressure, I'm sorry, yeah. or maybe something I had, or I don't know, maybe the yeah, dust. We always tend to think the worst, right? <laughs> yes. But no, there were two eyelashes. Just imagine. A simple thing giving you biggest big problem. a lot of issues mm -hmm. a lot of issues but uh not now i'm uh, with the appropriate medicine and, and that's correct that's awesome yeah it is it is because i mean mm -hmm. gee to be worried like that yes now i'm going to take always uncomfortable then mm -hmm. it's like uh, it's worrisome i mean it's your eyes exactly Exactly. This is still red, but it's less that that it was uh, on weekend. So less than before. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, remember, medicines depending on what they are attacking or what they are helping with, they don't make effect immediately. Exactly. Not possible, even though we would like them to. Mm -hmm. That's right. But I'm happy that now I'm. Um, better. <laughs> and I have the, the, the right medicine. That is the most important thing. Yeah, that's true. That's mm -hmm. true. I mean, yeah. The good thing is that they could get to a good uh, diagnosis. A good diagnosis. Diagnostic, exactly. Brain. And she made the effort. She came just for three patients. And that for me is awesome. It's, uh, that is the reason why I always look for her. <laughs> Yeah, you are right. I mean, and not not every doctor is going to do that. Exactly. So that's nice. So happy. And tell me, how was yesterday for you? Uh, yesterday, I was uh, the doctor with uh, I. Mm, yeah, no, I was besides that. Uh, oh, besides that, 
Ay, no, eh, the, the, oh, I must mention this. <laughs> Remember that the, there are two workers working here because of, of my roof is there. Yeah. Okay. So they're still making stuff in the construction, etc. What happened is that I don't remember if I told you last time, we have another room in the second floor of my house. And last time there were a lot of uh, bats. Bat? Oh yeah. yeah That's it. Exactly. The thing is that always there was like a little hole. And yesterday I told them- to sneak in. Exactly, and I told them, please, because they are they, the other ones, the first ones working on that, they made their job, but they didn't kill any any bad. Yesterday, they killed like around 11 or 12 bats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, yeah and also, yeah, my God, it's so amazing. And, and there was a little hole where they were like uh, tiny thing like this. Is <laughs> exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And so, but the good thing is that they kill like like twelve animals. Uh, thin, there is still some of some there, but tomorrow they are going to complete uh, filling any tiny hole in the wall or in the roof. In order to avoid, uh, they let's hope they do a good job and you can exactly get rid of that problem. crossing fingers, teacher. Because since mm -hmm. the beginning of the year, this has been a headache. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, besides being uncomfortable, it's kind of nasty. Exactly. So yesterday was a busy day. We said that that's the reason why I asked for two days to missing vacations day because I knew there were it, it would be movement here in my home with the construction and yeah. also you needed to be like also paying attention to it right exactly be on top of those situations that's right yeah never easy never easy but somebody's got to do it mm -hmm. that's right my Claudia welcome thank you thank you teacher no, good to see you Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see. Beatriz, good evening. How are you? I guess we are having trouble still. Let's see who else is around. Mr. Luis Orellana. Good evening. Steven. Hello, Steven. Hi, Mr. How are you? Back in Guatemala? Yeah, I continue here. Mr. I had no idea if I got a problem, but it's really difficult to listen to you. Oh, no, I'm having the same trouble, uh, teacher. It's like the teacher listening a little far away, right? Yeah, that's all. I thought it was my computer, Steven. <laughs> I was wondering, why, what about now, guys? <laughs> what about now? Oh, we can hear you better. Is yeah. it better? I'm yeah. sorry, I'm sorry. Thank you for asking, good. Steven, because I thought it was my computer. Okay. No, no, no. It was the volume of I my mic. Same. I do the same, but I, I had to ask him. I yeah, should ask yeah, him. The, yeah, always do, always do, because I mean, the situation is this, my mic is uh, right here, you don't see it. But it's no, no. up and in front. And so uh, uh, sometimes that happens, but it's nice. So Steven, tell me, oh, well, you were here in Salvador this last weekend, right? That's right. When did you go back? Monday. Monday. What time did you leave? 
what time uh, where I live to my job. Mm. Yeah. What time did you leave from El Salvador to Guatemala? About, let me see. It's about um, four hours, capital to capital. And okay. I, I had I to had try about um, other four hours to Santa Cruz de Cuche. Uh, we are talking about eight, eight hours. Okay, and what time did you leave El Salvador? Like 7 a.m., 5 a.m. in the morning? Oh, let me remember, 5 a.m. 5 a.m.? Yeah. So you were arriving there? No. Around 2, 3 p.m.? No. no, mister. I can't hear about, let me remember. It was closer than 9 p.m. because I, I too had done some things in the capital. Ooh. So yeah. it was a long that. day for you. Yeah. A very long day. Yeah. Man, you must have been like pretty tired. I was really tired. But, but... Hey, but you were in the class, right? Yeah, you were. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so sorry, so sorry. Yeah. Long trips are hard. Yeah, and even more because when I came to the hotel, I actually had to I had to, to work. Uh, because at, at the day I can't do anything if I travel because I just driving. So yeah. if I had some activities like a schedule, mm, payment or something like that uh, I should do it at night after classes and yeah it's it's complex right but it's part of the game I mean what can we do part of the job right yeah yeah that's what we sign up for that's the problem yeah, <laughs> yeah that's we the should... problem that yeah yeah, we choose to do it. Let's tell. Well, tell me about it. I mean, I finish class, and after I finish class around 10 15, I start checking. I have to recheck the attendance list. I have to check uh, the grades, everybody's grades. I have to check the following day's classes. If I all need to prepare day. material every single day. But all the day so, you dedicate to, to the classes, English class. Yeah, I dedicate all day. Well, uh, I get I go out from my house around 6 a.m. I am teaching all day long. I come back home around 5. Then I go to the gym a little bit. Then I come here, start working. And sometimes I have classes at the university online. Uh, then I have to teach this class. I finish around 10.15. Then I have dinner around 10.30. After classes? I, yep. Okay. Around 10.30, I start working on preparing classes, checking homeworks, stuff like that. And if I have homework from the university, I also need to do it. So I go to sleep around 12.30, 1. Uh, that's my schedule. Yeah, that's part of life. Yeah, it's part of life. As we were talking about, I don't remember when I signed up for this, I don't remember that I was agreeing to spend it all nights like this, but it's cool, you know. No, it's nobody what, tells it's us. What we, nobody yeah, nobody tell does. Us. Yeah, we don't. But it's what we like it. to do. Yeah, yeah. it's what it's, we like to do. I think it's worse when you choose some career that you don't really like and you finish yeah yeah, yeah. you rather you have, about it you have to work about it something that you don't really enjoy that yeah of course yeah that would be hellish i mean i mean because uh, to be honest with you i know i finished the day tired but mm, i'm not complaining you know we yeah, usually yeah, yeah. we usually just Everybody bad mouths their job a little bit any other day. But I mean, it's what we do. We are tired, 
but doesn't yeah. mean that we don't enjoy what we do. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's my meaning. Hey, Steven, nice talking to you and welcome. Nice to meet you. Let's Sorry. see. <laughs> no me problem, too, me no too. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, nice meeting my you My mouth. <laughs> yeah, that happens, that happens, don't worry. Let's see who else is around. Marcos, hello, Marcos, how are you? Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm uh, just fine. Uh, everything is fine. And uh, yesterday that I can rest a little bit and spend some time with my family. So I guess everything is fine right now. Well, yeah, that's nice. I mean, spending time with the family is one of the most important things you can do. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And whenever you we, get the chance, you gotta do it. Yeah, it's important to spend time, and 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 it's better when we can go out and enjoy of um, some food. Or, and delicious food or, or um, go to to the mall um, a place to just to, to relax and yeah it's very important but the, the most important thing I I guess is uh, rest rest and uh, all I can because the week is so long so we have to um, yeah, that sure. this little this little break is good. When we have a little yeah, break in yeah. the middle of the week, it's nice. I mean, it's a good opportunity, yeah. and if you have it, take it. Yeah, even uh, if we lost a holiday like first uh, May. <laughs> oh yeah, that was bad. Going Sunday. Yeah, that's what that was last for for us. But at least uh, and this this holiday, I didn't ask if I have to work or or uh, or or no, you and just take a vacation. <laughs> you know, okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah, because the the only days in the Holy Week, I had to to work and. I really uh, didn't need to work because it was holiday, but nobody told me that. I, I, oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember that happening to you. That was bad. Yeah, but this time just just rest, just take a vacation. Well, that's nice. So. <laughs> Excellent, Marcos, yeah. welcome. Hey guys, let me get the attendance. Let me get the attendance, please. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Alejandro Alfredo Sagas Díaz. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Danny Josué García Martínez. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Ok. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. 
Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Presente, chef. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Eso. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Welcome. Okay, let's see. What else do I have here? What else, what else, what else? So, Wilfredo, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Thanks, God. Really good. Everything's fine? Yeah, everything's fine, teacher. Okay, how was yesterday for you? Oh, it was really interesting because I have to work. <laughs> Oh, right. No, but I worked until I guess that was like two thirty. I guess. Oh, you finish early. Yeah, I finish early. Oh, but nice. I didn't do my lunch because. Uh, what? I'm sorry, you had lunch, and. No, I didn't do my lunch, and I leave early. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh -huh, because I have some uh, training because uh, in this um, department, we have a lot of trainings every week. So yesterday was a little busy, but you know, when your day is busy, your time is shorted. So I felt that I work just for a couple of hours, but I work my complete journey, journal. Okay. That was really good. And also we celebrate the, the Mother's Day with uh, my mother-in-law, my grandmother-in-law and my wife too, with uh, her sisters and brother. So that's really good because we finish late. Then we have to uh, sleep uh, like a couple of hours because we have to work today with the microbus. So was really good, but tired. But today I began to work like 7 p.m., 7, 7 a.m. So I finished work at 30, I guess, because uh, they showed me how to create uh, a new report. So, but it was really good because uh, today I learned something new. Always good when you learn something new. Yeah, it's really good. Oh. You've been quite busy, actually. Yeah, yeah. That's but it cool. depends because like 10 to 1 p.m. is boring because there are, there are not a lot of things to do. From 10 to 1? 10 to 1, yeah. Ooh. That's yeah. many hours, yeah. It gets yeah. boring. That's right. But after that, we, we make a, a, a little meeting uh, just to share we the have, holidays. We had we a little meeting. Yeah. We had a little meeting uh, to share the updates that we got at the morning with the okay. evening and night nice shift. Okay, excellent, excellent. Yeah, but it was, it was really good. Nice. Welcome to the class. Yeah. Thanks for sharing with us. Thank you, teacher. Thank you to us. Heidi, hello, Heidi. Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm just fine, just fine. Remembering that you were cooking yesterday, right? Well, I did. Okay, yeah, you were cooking. I got a nice thing. <laughs> Stuffed bread, yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, they, they were delicious. <laughs> Ooh. You want to hear something funny? 
Uh -huh. I'm sorry to interrupt you, uh -huh. but I need to restart my computer because it's stuck in a lot. No problem, no problem. Okay. To be really? honest, I, yeah, not my thing. It is okay really because you love Salvadorian food. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do. It's one of the things I enjoy the most. <laughs> in your past life, you were some from somewhere else, that's why. <laughs> Yeah, most probably on my previous life. Previous. On the previous life. Okay, well, yeah. And tell me, what about today? How are the activities at, job, at your job? Uh, they were kind of normal. Okay. Wasn't it a heavy day? Because banks, sometimes they get crazy. Tomorrow it will be. Oh, really? Mm hmm why can i ask you why um and in the morning i have a, a french managers committee and afternoon uh, we will sign a mortgage well that part is good mm -hmm. yeah no the part is good for your branch right right excellent excellent so you're expecting happily one part of the day at least <laughs> that's right well i don't i don't know your attitude towards meeting in my case uh meeting some sometimes they stress me out after so many reunions that kind of reunions let believe me i don't feel like you don't feel nothing at all now no not really yeah i'm used to it mm -hmm. no yeah, I remember having a lot of meetings and yeah, you're right. After a, after a time, I mean, you get so used to it that they are like part of the regular day, right? Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah, that's nice. Nice having you here, Heidi. Thank Welcome. you, teacher. Happy you enjoyed yesterday. Thank you, I did. Okay. Let's see. Where's, 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 where's... Uh, Roxana. Hello, Roxana. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How was yesterday for you? Happy day, by the way. Thank you. Well, um, yesterday it was very stressful because we decided to uh, visit Sushi Toto. Oh, man. Not even yeah. parking was good yesterday. Yeah. Parking was a really really problem because um in there was uh, full everywhere all was places, like that yeah all places we wanted to visit um casa 1800 yeah but they have um wait um time around two hours for a table yeah or or more so we were looking for another place and finally we took the lunch in mex algo no sé qué su mex i guess yeah i know which one is it yeah well, the experience about the day was very stressful, you know. For well, that's party. because you didn't you didn't ask me. I will have just with one call, I will have get you a table at one restaurant there. Okay, well, I didn't know the chair. Yeah, no, no. I actually I got a good friend over there, and that's what I do sometimes. Uh, I ask him, it's a good friend of the family, so he always sets a table apart for us that's cool yeah but yesterday was crazy i took my i took my family for breakfast and we ended up having breakfast around 11 30. that was lunch <laughs> yes and we were uh, driving around same time i guess 11 and a half yeah we arrived at uh, Suchitoto around 12 and a half. And it was we crazy were, at that time. Yeah, 
we were looking for and looking and looking and looking for a, a place, but all was uh, full. Finally, we decide um, say in Sushi Mex. Well, the experience in that place is, isn't well, because I think that they didn't have, uh, or they, they hadn't, right? They hadn't yeah. uh, meat. We asked for meat, beef, rough beef, but I think that they don't. Ha they didn't have because uh, we were waiting for the lunch around one and a half hour, and finally yeah. we were launching around. We took the lunch uh, around three p.m. Yeah, I know that beautiful experience. It's terrible. Yeah. Well, but it's yesterday, you know, everywhere, all day long, even at night, even mm -hmm. under the heavy rain in San Salvador, everywhere it was packed. I remember I was driving last night around 7.30, and I arrived to San Salvador by... Uh, by Fuente Luminosa, some restaurants around there. I, I arrived there around 8.30 and many restaurants over there were like packed full, a lot of people and it had rain. And man, yesterday rained cats and dogs. <laughs> okay, guacala. <laughs> no, but yesterday it was a heavy, heavy rain. Yes, I this, this is an this is an expression, uh, Roxana. Let me tell you. Uh, the expression says it rains cats and dogs. That it means llovía uh, cantaros. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get it. So yesterday it was raining cats and dogs, and everywhere was packed. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it was terrible. You know, I have to go. Oh, I got another word for you guys. I have to go to a, to a waking. Waking. What yeah, mean? another another term used for that. It's uh, viewing. It's una vela. Bella. Oh. Yeah, somebody died. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so you can say awaking. Oh, okay. It's, a, it's awaking. The funeral is the following day. Okay. So, uh, yeah, and I was, I mean, everywhere was packed. I was coming back to my house around 11 p.m. Man, traffic in downtown San Salvador. I mean, there was traffic. It was not like empty. Yeah, you know, people had money, maybe. <laughs> or using yeah. a credit card. Yeah, those little things are tricky. Hey, Roxana, nice talking oh. to you. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Still got time? Yeah, still got time. Who else is around? Hey, Liana. Hello, Hello teacher. Liana. You are the only, you are the only no mother who I can congrats in Mother's Day. So <laughs> congratulations, Eliana. Thank you, teacher. You ha I hope you had a nice birthday. Actually, I did. Thank you. Excellent, excellent. So how was it for you yesterday? Tell us. Mm, well, um... It was very nice. I went to my with my family to the graveyard uh, okay. together. Yeah, um, to my grandma's uh, grave, my grandpa's yes. grave. Uh, um, well, we were in the graveyard. Um, we left. We left the the graveyard at noon. Okay. And after that, we took a uh, lunch. We okay. had lunch uh, with my family too. 
And then I came back to my house around 4, 5 p.m. Oh, early. Early, yeah. yeah. Early. And then, you know, just stayed with my family at home. We ate Mexican food at, mm -hmm. at night. Mm -hmm. And it was a very Ooh. nice day. Yeah. yeah. So glad to hear it. <laughs> Thank you. The, and the good thing is that you came early because, man, the driving late when you are coming from far away, it's uh, horrible. Yeah. Actually, the traffic uh, wasn't too too bad. Yeah, when really? we came back, yeah. Yeah, because it was still a little bit early. Mm -hmm. That was the reason that... that, that um, why... We, we traffic returned. was light. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why we returned early. Yeah, that's why we returned early. Yeah, thank you. Nice. Ileana, thanks for sharing. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see who else is around. Francisco, what about you? Hello, teacher. I'm sorry. Give me a second. Oops. Okay, Francisco, please continue. Hello, teacher. How about you? I'm just fine, just fine. What about you? Tell me. How was yesterday for you? Uh, a little bit uh, tired because uh, today uh, I... I have a uh, morning shift, and yesterday uh, for me is a uh, is a uh, it was a, a beautiful day, but uh, a little bit tired too. Oh yeah, you have morning shift, and then you have a chance to share with your family. And yesterday, uh, right, it should be uh, because. Uh, I had uh, my day off. Yesterday. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, today you had your morning shift. Today, today. Okay, perfect. So yesterday you had a day off. That's cool. Right, teacher. In in, in the morning, uh, I uh, I went to boat to some flowers to my month my I went to buy sorry teacher I went to buy sorry teacher right I went to buy uh, uh, some flowers uh, to my uh, for my mother my wife and my mother-in-law okay that's cool. And, 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 and because uh, my my wife uh, she had a uh, working yesterday. Oh, and that's bad. We don't uh, uh, spend time uh, during the the day, but uh, in the day in the night uh, we. Uh, had a uh, dinner with my with my family with my uh, my mom my wife and my two uh, my sister and my brother. Oh, so you were quite busy yesterday. Right. <laughs> well, don't ever, don't ever don't ever take your wife to the beach on, on Mother's Day. She's gonna get mad at you. <laughs> That's right around the corner for you. <laughs> right, Fisher. <laughs> this is the, the reason because today I uh, I feeling a little tighter. And tomorrow I can imagine. Uh, I will uh, go to work in the same shift. Morning, that means 5 a.m., right? Right, teacher. Uh, um, 4, 4 a.m., I, I 
I wake up. The company transportation uh, passes by, picks you up at five. Right, teacher. <laughs> but the the good uh, the good part in this week, uh, I changed uh, my shift the on uh, Friday, and I mm. become the the afternoon shift. For me, when you start, Friday. when you finish at nine p.m., right? Mm, no, teacher. Uh, uh, at ten. In, uh, I uh, change, uh, for example, um, uh, morning, uh, I uh, continue in, in this shift. Tomorrow, sorry, tomorrow. Tomorrow I continue in this shift. And Fridays, uh, I start uh, afternoon. Afternoon shift. Um. I never quite get your shift, my friends. Always <laughs> drive me nuts. Hey, Francisco, welcome. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see. What's for today on the menu? Well, first, yes. uh, the greetings. I'm sorry, I have a question. You yeah. say, what is the difference in pronunciation with the gerund of the verb to walk? And walking, you said? Walking. The, the word that you... Just grow up in the chat. Waking. Uh, oh, it's waking the pronunciation. Yeah, waking. Oh, it's awake. I had to attend to awake. Wake. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Now it's clear for me. Thank you. <laughs> Some people just say wake on a cloudy. I had to attend to awake. Attend to awake. No, I'm just uh, thinking that for that reason, the name of this series, it, the no, th those were walking there, right? I yeah, I guess so. I'm, I guess okay. so. It's, I was no. confusing the word. <laughs> no, really, okay, my wait. team does do it. Okay, yep, thank you. Wait. No problem. Okay, well, let's see. Where was I? Oh, yeah, telling you. Well, first, uh, the, the welcome, everyone. Nice having you here. I almost have full house, and that's great. I like that. And let's see what else. Uh, Okay. Um, well, anyway, uh, we are going to have a little model conversation working in person groups. Then we're going to have conversation as the other day, asking and answering questions between, uh, between all of you. And then I have a PPT a PowerPoint presentation where I'm going to explain a little bit more about the first conditional. Do you remember I told you that I was going to continue explaining the first condition and I have a PPT prepared for you, which at the end of the class, I will, I will uh, uh, convert into a PDF and I'll send it to you guys. It's a short explanation, a little exercise, something for you to, to review it. But yeah, I know, I know. Today we have two presentations and that's what I was going into. Thank you, guys. The first one to present today is Ileana, you're ready, right? Perfect, excellent, nice. Yeah, ready. Okay, you want me to, to share your PPT right now? Yeah, please. Okay, let's see. Okay, here we go. Okay, the floor is yours, my dear. Mm. Okay. Okay, good evening, everybody. Uh, the topic that I chose to talk with you tonight is traditions. Next slide, please, teacher. 
Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me do something. Okay. I guess you can share. Mm. Let, let me see, let me see, let me yep. see. You can share, right? Yeah, yeah, I set it up the other day for you to share. If you want, you can do it. Let me see how. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. But I can't. Okay, hold on. Give me just a second. Okay. Hello. You can see the presentation? Yep. Yeah. We can yeah. see your screen right now. Yes. Okay. So, good evening, everybody. Uh, the topic that I chose to talk to you uh, in this class is traditions. Uh, we are going to travel a little around the world uh, to learn to some traditions that maybe, or perhaps most of us uh, did not even know that exist. So first I want to share with you the concept of tradition. A tradition is an inherited, established or customary pattern of thought, action or behavior, such as a religious practice or a social custom. So let's start. The first country that I chose is Mexico, uh, Oaxaca. Oaxaca, Mexico, so I want to move this. Oaxaca, Mexico has a massive radish carving festival during the holiday season. The annual Noche de los Rábanos or Night of the Radishes is a tradition that dates back more than 150 years. For this event, locals carve a variety of radishes that grow up to three feet long into intricate sculptures and enter them in a competition. So we have some pictures of this tradition. Actually, it's pretty interesting because people do these things just with radish and maybe a knife and they make these old sculptures and well, they, they, uh, they, sorry, they enter into this traditional competition. So, Diana, we are losing you. Interesting, I never heard about this. I know they don't. Hello? I'm sorry, Liana. Let's do something. Yes, let's do something. Turn your camera off. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Please continue. Okay. So, uh, this tradition is for single people. So in Denmark, if you are not married on your 20th birthday, in Denmark, you might be dosed in cinnamon. So this initial tradition is said to have emerged hundreds of years ago when Danish spice merchants spent so much time traveling, so they didn't have time to get married. Today, the joke is played in good fun, but be warned, if you're still single at 30, the spice that gets thrown at your you change from cinnamon to black pepper. So we have some pictures. In my family, they they did this, this, this kind of uh, joke to me because I'm still single and 27. So the next tradition that I chose is uh, in Thailand. When I read about this tradition, uh, uh, for me, it was very interesting because sometimes traditions are not just for people. Sometimes people make traditions for animals too. And that happens in Thailand. Uh, in Lobori, the residents prepared an annual feast for the local monkeys. 
Uh, in this country, each year, the province of Labori holds the Monkey Buffet Festival, with, which is a fun tradition that pays homage to macacos or macacos in Spanish. This local species is thought to bring good luck to the region and they are appeased with a feast of, of fruits. Uh, this includes nearly two tons of watermelon, lettuce, pineapple, and more. And these are some pictures of these traditions. You can see the little and pretty monkeys eating all the fruits that people offered to them. And the last one that I chose is located in Canada. And Canada. this tradition, Canada? Thank you. Canada. In, in Canada. Okay, thank you, teacher. Uh, there's an international hair freezing contest in Yukon. In the frigid province of Yukon, Canada, there's a fun winter-wide celebration each February at the Takini Hot Pools. All the participants dunk their heads in the hot water of the pools and then expose the wet hair to the freezing cold air above a 30... 30 degrees below zero. Yeah. They must create frosty hair doughs by shaping their hair before it's frozen solid. And this, this is what happens when people do that thing. So this, this tradition for me was pretty interesting and, and, and a result very funny to me. So uh, with all of this, from radish carving and dulcet cinnamon to monkeys and freezing hairs, these traditions show us the weird and at the same time, the wonderful ways people across the planet chose to celebrate. And that's all. Thank you. Okay. Lena, where are you? Oh, right there. Sorry. Well, 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 yeah. I got uh, just a little thing with you. Let's see. Inherited. 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 Okay. Yeah. And that's from the very beginning. And those. 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 Yeah, like like that. the. Yeah. Like that. Those. those. Okay. And Inheritance let me see. and those. Yeah, and I have another one. Uh, 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 choose, choose to celebrate. Choose to celebrate. Okay. Perfect. Very well done. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder what my hair will like frozen. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now let's pleasure, see. Teacher. Let's see. Let's see. Let's change the pace of the class. I hope guys you have enjoyed as much as I did. The presentation was pretty interesting. Now, okay. Guys, I got, we are going to talk about jobs today. So to warm up, to warm up, I'm going to send you in two groups and the first Two questions uh, we are going to work with are these. I'm sorry, uh, Stephen, you're going to be in your presentation after the PPT I got, okay? After the explanation, the grammar explanation. Thank you. Now, the questions. Do you like your job? That's what we were talking with. Uh, with uh, Actually, with Stephen, we were talking about it. Why or why not? The thing is, it is more important to make a lot of money or to enjoy your job? Or what do you think is more important? How do you grade it? Okay, that's what you're going to be talking about. You're going to be working in small groups of three members. And that's gonna be one of four, but let me see if I can make an adjustment. Okay, let's see.
Hmm. A second. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. You will have five minutes to do the questions, asking and answering. I'll be jumping from group to group. Let me know if you need any help. I really like my job. Yeah, that's the reason. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And what do you think? It's make a lot of money or you enjoy your really job? What is the important thing? Well, that's in order a tricky to achieve, one. <laughs> yeah, because in order to achieve my my goals or my yeah my goals, I can say that maybe make a lot of money but but uh, maybe could be enjoy my job and if enjoying my job uh, if if enjoying my job i make i can make a lot of money so that's great Perfect. but but yeah i think that when when you enjoy your job is makes the the day more easy you know Easier. easier, major easier. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I agree with you. So I, do you like your job? Yeah, I really like it. I really like it. It's a crazy job, but I, I love it. Uh, it's interesting. Like we were talking with uh, Mr. Douglas at the beginning of the classes, mm -hmm. some kind of job had different complication uh, troubles but if you uh, if you are doing something that you like it you're really enjoying and my job it's it's really tired it's really tired i, I can't sleep too much time to be honest but it's part of the life part of the life and that was i choose and that was I like, so I am like, and yeah, I really like my job. Okay, I really like so, it. So with the second question, do you think it's more important enjoy your job or to make a lot of money? I think both. Both are really important because <clears throat> uh, why are we, working to, to be honest <laughs> to be honest 
to make to money. Make money. <laughs> yeah, I need money. I, I want money. <laughs> I enjoy the money. Uh, maybe all the people. And, and it's not a joke. Uh, we need the money. We need the money yeah. to live. Actually, and, what we enjoy, I'm sorry, what we enjoy is what we can do with the money. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, you're right. And what what you can do with the money is depend of the um, the amount, the amount of money. It's a bank. Every single person could be thinking different. They could be different goals, uh, different mind. But at least I think both are the, the equally important. Yeah, the same important because I want to be happy. I really want to enjoy my life. That it means that I had to do something that I really like it, but I need money at the same time. So if I can work in something that I enjoy and something that make me uh, the money the, that I need, it's the perfect place, the perfect place. And I think there are more or many things that can influence it. Yeah, that's the word, yeah. Mr. Influence. Yeah. yeah, influence, influence. Like influence, yeah, like uh, your age, your goals, your family, and your economy situation. I don't know, there's so many things that influence, but yeah. it's important. In, Joy and, and, and the money. And making money out of it. Yeah. Sorry? Enjoying it and making money out of it. Yeah, you know, Roxana doesn't have that problem. She always makes big bucks, right, Roxana? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Roxana, what about you? Do you enjoy your job? Yeah, actually, I enjoy my job because I can organize uh, the time and work in different in different activities. And when I have a lot of cases and um, in closing, for example, uh, I can, uh, I'm free to um, organize a specific activities for some hours or for the day. And the other, uh, maybe I, I, I will work next day, for example, um, if I'm closing. So um, that's the reason why I love my job, because I think that I can decide uh, or, or I can take some decision about uh, the department. On the other hand, um, I love uh, my job because I'm working from home. So I have more uh, time to spend with my family, with my son and some different activities after working. And that's it. And, and you make the money to travel. <laughs> yeah, money always, always is a trouble. But I think that is both are important. I'm agree with Stephen because um, sometimes we enjoy the money, but we don't uh, enjoy the job. And when you try to uh, focus your um, energy in positive um, effects or in positive uh, situation, maybe you can change the idea. Uh, for example, the last time I I had a problem, I have a I need I needed to check a lot of a lot of reports because we had a problem in the system. So all the all day we I I, I was in meeting with the IT guy. So for me it was stressful because I had a lot of different activities. But I needed to support him with the um, development. So I think I thought that he is my friend. 
for my work. So it's not my enemy. I don't have, maybe I don't have a lot of time. In, well, I don't have is, that's because it was in Janeiro. Mm, no, 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 no. It, I'm it's, kidding, I'm kidding. No, uh, he was another person, so. Uh, it ah, was, that's why, that's why you were calm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll, yeah, I'll tell Janeiro but, next time I talk to her. <laughs> yeah, but the thing oh. is that in that case, I think that... I'm sorry, he, another group is calling me, Roxana. Can you finish okay. and please ask Ramon? Ramon okay. is here. Uh, Ramon, are you there? Then, so you have to explain a lot. Oh. Yeah. And then we finish with the last poll until 9.30, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that frame is really hard. But graveyard. you have to know. Huh? The graveyard? No, no, no. Uh, I, was tell, I was telling to Haiti. I was telling Haiti. I was telling Haiti uh, that I in I meet him since mm -hmm. six a.m. to nine thirty a.m. and we need to be focused because we discuss the results. That's the good morning. Yeah. You did. <laughs> <laughs> so we we share the results with the main client. So we need to be really focused because uh, the main client yeah. is asking you a lot. Yeah, but man, at 6 a.m. for a meeting, I don't know if my brain will be functional at that time of the day. <laughs> yeah, that time of the day, the only thing I'm thinking about is uh, a cup of coffee. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we have to. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm dead. I mean, I'm not alive to the world. I arrive to my job. I say good morning to everybody. But I'm alive until You're I have off. my first cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> but you are more off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm in automatic. I'm just there. But if I don't have caffeine on my bloodstream, I'm not awake. Yeah. Hey, guys, it's time to go back. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, teacher. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Let's see, everybody's coming in a few seconds. We're just waiting. And while we are waiting, let me set this up because I need to get the second attendance real fast. Sorry guys, I'm just waiting for persons. Well, let's see, let me get the second attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you, Ada, welcome. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasco Medias. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez.
Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present. Suleima, thank you. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Okie dokie. Let's see. Let me ask you a couple of ones of you because then I got something else prepared for you guys. Let's see. Hmm. Alejandro Alfredo, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening, mister. Good evening. Tell me, do you like your job? Yeah, we were discussing with uh, the other classmates, with uh, Anna and Maria Alejandra, uh, about these questions and I currently like my job. I've been learning a lot. And I'm, I'm this opportunity. So like these two or three months, I, I, I have really enjoyed my, my job. First, because I keep working from home. And second, uh, because I have the opportunity to in communication with almost every area of the bank and uh, meet a lot of people. Oh, really? Well, the good thing is that, that you enjoy your job and that you are learning. Thank you very much, Alejandro. Thanks for sharing. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Maria Alejandra, tell me, what about you? Tell me, why do you like your job? <laughs> Hi, teacher. Mm, the only reason when I like my job is because I stay in the home office. <laughs> oh, because and you work on your pages. <laughs> uh -huh. and... mm -hmm. That's why, that's, <laughs> that's the only reason why you can say that you enjoyed your job. Yes, sure. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's actually good. I mean, as you said, it's a good advantage that you can, you can do it like that. You are comfortable at home, right? Yes, and that the reason is that my other co-workers or uh -huh, stay in other country and is the same to come to the office. I don't see, I don't have a contact with us and, uh -huh, and I don't know. I think that is only reason that I like. I stay in a home office and it's a good opportunity to save, to relax, don't stay in the traffic and my schedule are very rare and rare. rare and have the opportunity to pass the time when don't have a, more, a lot of cases in the platform. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now let's see, let's see, let's see.
Jose Wilfredo, please check out your chat. Some chat. Okay. Okay, Juan Carlos. Just tell me. Okay, can you talk about a typical date at your current job is like? Yes, sure. Uh, a typical day in my job, it's like uh, I have to, at the beginning, uh, like count the head count of the account, like uh, pass the attendance list. And I have to ensure that all of them are ready to get the, the incoming calls from the queue. Then I have to uh, review the, their status and auxiliaries on the on the system to send if necessary uh, an alert. Then I have to later review vacations, uh, uh, requests, and another kind of requests requests too. And sometimes we have calibration meetings, meetings with the uh, internal staff, and some reports that should be updated daily. And we uh, extract some information internally in order to find uh, outliers that are, are not like a, achieving the, the client's goal. And that, that's could be my daily <laughs> activities. Okay, excellent. And can you describe some of people that you work with? Oh, okay. I work with an anxious and stressful girl <laughs> who is, um, she is not my uh, directly uh, supervisor, but uh, I don't know why she has taken this like uh, position or she felt herself like uh, he ha she has the power to send orders uh, to me or my uh, co uh, co-worker mate. And okay, that's one person. And about my supervisor, uh, she is very kind, uh, patient, uh, she has a lot of knowledge about the whole system, the whole process, the business uh, review, etc. And and she's like uh, the mastermind in the in the company. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay, Thank you very much. Thank you for that information to us. Thank you both of you guys. Excellent. Well done, Mr. Wilfredo. Heidi. Irene. How long have you been working at your present job? Irene, it's with you. Irene. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hi. Ask her again, Heidi. Okay. How long have you been working at your present job? I have been working almost 10 years in this company. Okay, and how many days a week do you work? Five days, uh, on weekdays, five days. Five days, and how many hours a week do you work? Um, from Monday to Thursday, I'm working nine, nine hours nine hours and friday i'm working eight hours okay and how many times have you been promoted promoter what are you talking about explain me more or less a promotion is the um they assign you uh, uh, another position a best position ah, okay. I'm working in the same position uh, all this time. 
Okay, and, and from all of the things you do at your job, which is the one you like most, you love most to do? In this in this job? Yeah. Okay, I I enjoy my 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 job now. I love to to help to the other person uh, in my daily activities. I'm working with with employees because I'm working at human resources. In this area, I can help to the other to the other people. I enjoy it and I like to all the activities relation with this with with the people. Related. 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 Thank you, Heidi. Thank you, Irene. Very well done. Excellent. Okay, guys. Be aware that all of you are going to be in this situation. I will be placing you in the situation of asking or answering. And as Heidi did, follow up questions. Okay. So it's it's becoming interesting, quite interesting. But now uh, I'm going to share with you a little bit something that I have prepared because you know Stephen is pushing me like hey teacher hurry up I want to pass so after my presentation is Stephen turns okay let's see guys let's see let's see okay first conditional okay now if you remember the other day I was explaining to you about the conditional sentences I told you that we have zero conditional, first conditional, second conditional. Actually, we have third conditional, but we are not going to even get close to that today. The zero conditional is the one that you had seen already in previous courses, is the one that we used to talk about facts. Remember, we use the if, the simple present, and then comma separates the clauses. The result clause is in simple present. The example, if you mix yellow and blue, you get green. As simple as that. If you mix yellow and blue, you get green. That is a fact. Now, the first conditional, the one what we are going to work with. The first conditional is used to talk about the events that are probable and real to happen. Okay? Probable and real to happen. We got the if clause in simple present, and then the result clause in future. If the weather is good, I will go for a walk. And the second conditional, we are not going to work with this one today, but just for you to know, is used to talk about unreal future events. But be careful with this about unreal future events. Uh, actually, uh, the second condition is called present unreal, okay? But you use the if, the simple past, then you get the comma. That means that this belongs to the second clause. You use will plus infinitive. Remember, infinitive, you don't use two. If I had a lot of money, I will move to Spain. But let's focus. Okay, zero conditional facts. Let's see, guys. Let's see. You are going to help me. Look at this. We got many options. If you hit water, what happens? Anna Claudia, if you hit water? Uh... It boils the G. Okay. If you hit water, she says it boils. Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, Ada, if you are in Africa. Mm. If you are in Africa. <laughs> mm. I don't like <laughs> look, look, Ada, if you're in Africa, it is a fact that it's a fact that it's really hot. Okay. 
Okay, Alejandro Alfredo, if it's freezing cold, It means it's winter in Poland. You are quite right. Perfect. Thank you. It means it's winter in Poland. Great. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Fernando. Yes, it's if the man is not breathing. He's dead. Okay. If it's not, if he's not breathing, if he's dead, perfect. Now let's see, Francisco. If the moon shines, uh, it means it's, it's night. Okay, it means it's night. Perfect. Heidi, if you don't eat. I was trying to find the next one when you said it, but I can only find you are hungry, but it doesn't make sense if you don't eat. Of course it makes sense. If you don't eat, you are yeah. hungry, my dear. Yeah. Man, ask me about it. I'm hungry right now. I'm kidding. If you don't eat. You are hungry. It's a fact. Ah, okay. Remember, okay. we are expressing the zero conditional. We are yeah. expressing facts. You know, I was thinking to myself that if you are hungry, you eat. <laughs> yeah, it's no, also right. Are. Thank you. Now let's see, uh, Eliana. No. If you eat ice, if you hit, if you hit ice, it melts and changes into water. It melts and changes into water. Perfect. Now, let's see. Uh, Mr. Rivas, Jose Rivas, if you leave metal out in the rain. And see. So it gives you a ticket. No, if you leave metal, metal out in the rain. Si deja metal bajo la lluvia. Look, okay. it gets rusty. Um, rusty. What is rusty? It gets oxida. Se oxida. Uh, okay. no. Thank you. Now let's see. Jose Wilfredo, if you put money into a, into a machine. It gives you a ticket. Yeah, that happens. And the last one, of course, is if you don't water the flowers, they die, right? Okay, that was the zero conditional. Let's continue. The first conditional. If I study, I will pass my exams. I will pass my exams if I study. You notice we have here the both situations when you start with the condition and when you start with the result, okay? Remember the condition in present simple, right? And then we have the result in future simple. I will pass, the will is the auxiliary for the future. We use it to talk about possible situations and their consequences in the future. Remember, possible situations and their consequences in the future, but we are talking about a near future, okay? A very close future. Now, remember, as with any situation we have, whenever we are expressing a verb tense, uh, we have affirmative, negative, and interrogative sentences, okay? So, if I study, I will pass my exams. Affirmative. The negative, if I don't study, 
I won't pass my exams. The questions, if I study, will I pass my exams? Who knows, right? If he studies, he will pass his exams. If he doesn't study, he won't pass his exams. And if he studies, will he pass, will he pass his exams? So we have here the affirmative, the negative, and the interrogative. Now, exercise. Okay, Steven, the first sentence, if you are so kind. If you learn English, you will be able to work in England. Perfect, thank you. Roxana, sentence number two. Mm, they borrow a bus? No. They will. They will this, a bus? This one doesn't start with they. Uh -huh. If they... If they... They want to travel around the world. Okay, let's see. Perfect. Thank you. Next sentence, number three, goes to Ramon. Let's see, let's see, let's see. If she practices regularly, she will play very well. Remember, if she practices, practices. Next one Practice. goes to Maria Alejandra. Thank you very much. Um, he won't need an instrument if he, if he is a good singer. You are right. He won't need an instrument if he is a good singer. Thank you, Maria Alejandra. Okay. Marcos, you got number five. Okay. If I share it with my friend, I will enjoy the music more. Okay. Perfect. If I share with if I share it with my friends, I will enjoy the music more. Excellent, Ramon. I'm sorry, Marcos. Marcos, Marcos, Marcos. My bad. Okay. Uh, Juan Carlos, yours next. Perfect. Let me see. Uh, if they let me um if they ah sorry <laughs> okay if they will come will come to their house later their mom will cook them dinner okay the result is perfect now, in the condition, you gotta be careful, why? Because remember, the condition goes in present. If they come to their house later, their mom will cook them dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay? Oh, okay. Now, let's, thank you very much, mister. Now, 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 let's see. Jose Wilfredo, you got number seven. Okay, let me check. If you won't be able to play volleyball. Mm, survive late. 
Would you like to rephrase? You remember the if clause is in simple present. Mm. Simple present for the verb be. You are are not. Yes, I, you are in uh -huh. able to able. play volleyball. Yes, you will, will. play. Yes, that's it. If you aren't able to play volleyball, you will arrive late. Now, Irene, number eight. Okay. Her parents will take her to the beach the summer if she doesn't doesn't fall any let any test. Perfect. Her parents will take her to the beach this summer if she doesn't fail any test. And the last one goes to Heidi. You got number nine, Heidi. If you go shopping after school, you will buy a magazine. Okay. If you go shopping after school, you'll buy a magazine. That's quite perfect. So you see, easy, right? First condition is quite easy. But let me just check a little something. Now, uh, something that you must be aware is that sometimes we use it to express and to explain. First conditional, we use it to explain ideas, effects in the future, but sometimes it is also used to express things in the in the present okay something that we must be aware of this is of uh, something that mo we must be aware of is this the first conditional describes a particular situation whereas the zero conditional describes what happens in general okay and you remember when we were working with the zero conditional we can say if you sit in the sun you get born Okay. And in this time, I'm talking about every time a person sits in the sun, right? It's night right now, but it is a fact that if you sit under the sun, you'll get born, period. It's a natural consequence of sitting in the sun, right? Now, in the first conditional, it will change a little bit. Why? Because you can say, ah, if you sit in the sun, you'll get born. In this case, I am talking about what will happen today. Another day might be different. What about if tomorrow is cloudy? Pretty cloudy, okay? What about if tomorrow you apply uh, sunscreen lotion. Okay, now uh, this is something kind of uh, sometimes weird, right? But just remember, it's used to talk about things which might happen in the future. Okay, yeah, right. We cannot, I mean, we cannot say what will happen in the future, we don't know it. But this describes possible things which could easily come true. Like if it rains, uh, I won't go out tonight. If I study today, I will pass my exam on Saturday. 
if I have enough money, I will take my family out for dinner. You see? If, uh, if Stephen doesn't wake up early, he will get late to his job. Very simple, right? That's what we express. Possible things in the in the near future. Okay, remember, possible things in the near futures. That's what we describe with the first condition. But don't worry, guys. For tomorrow, I have more exercises related to the first conditional. We are going to continue working on it. Okay, this week we are going to work a lot on it. Different situations, different exercises. I hope you like those exercises where you have to, to fill in some info. It's, it's good and you can practice and it also helps me know if we are really getting into it. Now the time has come, Stephen. Is your moment. Okay, Mr. May I share the, the yeah, the it's allowed. Yeah, it's open for you to share. Okay, let me give me give me a second. Okay, just let me know if you can see that. Yep, quite okay. clear. <sighs> okay. Let me see how can I start. I, I, I'm gonna give some question, a question. What do you believe uh, or think can do in, at the same room a firefighter, a crazy, a madman, and Cleopatra at the same room. What can they do? It's a pretty weird question, but it's pretty interesting because uh, I'm gonna talk, let me pass to the next, next page. It's about my favorite book. It's The Madman's Tale by John Gutzenbach. It's a pretty interesting book. And I'm gonna try to describe, uh, uh, quickly describe without spoilers. And that's all. Okay. What is it about the, this book? Um, it's about a young, younger man, Francis Javier Petrel, about a 19 years old, there has some problem since she, uh, he, he grew up without problems, mental problems. And the family try to live with that situation all the time. He has 19 years old and by that time he lived al alone in, in a room. But the family no, noticed that he present or increase in the my, my meltdown problem. So decide to move, to move him. Let me, I can pass to the next page. He, they decided to move to, uh, to the hospital, psychiatric hospital. And by that time, they, uh, he lived a really normal, boring um, life. But when they moved, uh, the family moved to Francis Javier Petrel from the hospital, their life changed, took a really changed, interesting change because they know uh, new people, crazy people. Well, we can say it's uh, crazy people, but when he knew, uh, he knew them, they knew that uh, had different mind but they are really interesting people. Uh, why I talk about Cleopatra and a fireman, uh, firefighter, firefighter, I'm sorry, 
because inside in the hospital, there a woman that she believed that she was a Cleopatra in another man at the beginning, uh, the book or the writers don't say anymore about the five fighter, just say it that he was a five fighter. Uh, he thought he thought he was a five fighter, but they uh, they became uh, to a real closer friends inside the hospital to Francis Javier Petrel, and then uh, inside the hospital, in sometimes the oh no not in sometimes I, I don't remember the words, but in an occasion at night they'll listen uh, really noises in the, so closer to the room they were, they were sleeping. They wake up and walk into, to try to close to the, that sounds. When they came to that place, they noticed that it was a nurse that was mother. And, they see the nurse at the floor with all um, many kind of blood at the flow. So in that time, they try to averiguar, Mister. Find they try to find the answer who killed that woman because they didn't know. They didn't know and they want to know because uh, uh, inside the hospital they don't had too much thing to do. They were boring, and obviously by that situation, that maybe not all the patients, but not all the I don't know the the words to describe the person who stay inside to the to the hospital, like paciente, inmate, inmate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe not all the inmates. But so many of, of they try to search the, the answer or, or try to find who killed that woman. And that's, that's the way the book um, go on, go on. And um, to don't say any spoiler, I can say that um, in some part of the book describing about the life of each one of the people inside the hospital. And it's, it's pretty interesting. I really enjoy the, how describe the personality, the family, the life of each one. Um, I really like the details. Um, it's a pretty interesting book because uh, it doesn't matter. I know it's a fiction book. It's a fiction, it's a novel. Oh, yeah. it's not. Yeah, it's a novel. Yeah, but it's pretty interesting because the 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 writer try to describe with every single detail the personality of each people inside the hospital, and at least for me it was pretty good or interesting. Try to know how can it feel some people that listen voices, and I think. It had to be pretty difficult because yeah, I just think about a younger man, 21, 20, 19 years old. They wanted to do all the things that maybe all the young people are doing at that age. But with some illness, it's pretty difficult to try to live at the same way. But this book is pretty interesting, describing each detail about their life and it's pretty good because at the end the book took some change pretty interesting with these characters and I don't want to say anymore because it's going to be a spoiler I don't know if you really enjoy it or maybe some of the classmates have written uh, John Katzenbach but I don't want to say a spoiler I don't want to say the end of the book, but I just can't say um, that it's a pretty interesting because this describes some people with illness and mental illness. And it's pretty interesting the way he described 
everything. And that's all, mister. I got another picture thing. It's about some, uh, what I'm talking about, a murder into yeah. the hospital and the way he find who was the killer is pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah. if you like it, that kind of um, book, could be interesting for everyone. That's all. Thank you, mister. Now you just got me curious. I gotta read the book. Actually, I took notes. Excellent. Very well done. Very well done. Just remember, Stephen, uh, when you tell the age of somebody, remember, I am, no, I have. He is, and you say the age, no, he has, okay? Just remember that little detail. I'm sure it just slipped out of your mind. Okay, what? Okay. Very interesting. But let's continue. We got us more questions. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Hold on. Now, what we are going to do, guys, it's a couple of questions. Well, I got a couple of questions. Let's see who's got, well, Ileana, you are the only one who's got the camera, so you're going to answer to me right now. Okay. Okay, let's see. I need you to think about three occupations that you could do. I don't know, for example, perhaps you would like to be a mortician. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But three occupations that you think you could do. And then tell me three occupations that you could never do. Something that you, I mean, if people mention to, to you, you get like, oh, no way, say, I will never do it. Hmm. Three occupations that I could do, maybe a chef, a, okay. sort of, a seller, maybe. Perfect. And. Well, two out of three, it's okay. Now tell me something that you could never do. Two occupations that I could never do. I don't know how to say it. These people that work in morgues. Um, yeah, that's a mortician, my dear. Mort yeah, mortician? Okay, I yeah. could never do that. Uh, no, never. Ah, open up people, you know, rip out. And... Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> And another, maybe a police. Okay. And yeah, those are difficult. A third occupation that I could never do, maybe, I don't know, model, maybe. They had a lot of, you know, this, this, these girls have all uh, the eyes on, on yeah, they got a lot of pressure. Yeah, so maybe I can um, handle that okay. kind of... Okay, well, if you ever decide to become a mortician, let me know. I got a cousin who's a mortician. <laughs> yeah, I really know you pretty excited about the idea. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank you. Let's see, now, 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 now. Fernando, what about you, Fernando? Tell me something, uh, a different job that you could do besides the one that you have. Tell me a couple of them. A couple of occupation that I could yeah. be? Yeah. Oh, I, I could be a driver, a seller, a teacher. Okay, well. Interesting. You got different options yes now what about something that you could never do something that you see then you say like no that's not um, i don't know the name of that job but i could never be people who kill cow oh yeah i don't i don't know the name hmm. Let me remember. I have a friend who, who did that. It's a 
That's a, a butcher. That's a butcher. A butcher. Okay. Oh, yeah, butcher. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Thank you, Fernando. Okay. Now, what about you, uh, Ana Claudia? Tell me two occupations that you could do. That I could do. Um, uh, let's see. Oh my God, that I could do. Maybe yeah, besides the one that you have, besides being your a lawyer? actual job. Being a okay. lawyer. Being, then the other one could be, I could be, um, uh, I don't know how to say this, but someone that design and create furniture. That's a designer. Ah, okay, designer for furniture. Okay. Okay. And the cool. other one, it could be um, maybe I could be, I continue working as a radio announcer. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What about something that you could never do? Oh, being a doctor. Uh, being a doctor and also any occupation that uh, is in high, for example, people that works in, in, in um, different levels that they are, en las alturas, ¿cómo lo puedo decir? Height. Height, uh -huh. non job of that type. And anything related to working with blood, like being a doctor or a nurse. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So blood is not your thing. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Thank you. Maria Alejandra, what about you? Tell me, Maria Alejandra, tell me something else that you could do besides the your actual job. Maybe a lawyer. Okay. To uh, a diseñador de interiores. Okay, interior designer. Okay, interior nice. Designer. And maybe uh, to uh, a sale for to a real estate uh, como oh in, yeah real in, estate in, yeah real uh, estate agent uh real estate agent mm -hmm. okay and what about something that you don't like that you will never do <laughs> i never do teacher to the person put in the street to give a signal for example the fovial Okay, you have you get, you will get scared. <laughs> I think that is very tired. The sun all the day yeah. in your body, and it's dangerous because don't don't a lot of people don't respect the. Here in El Salvador, that's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the others is uh, the persons to under in uh, cañerías or or the desagües. Yeah, plumbers. Ah, uh, plumbers. Um, okay. Oh no! Doctor. You took a pipe. Uh, I don't know the real name of that. That's a paper name. Yeah, but. <laughs> they yeah, say you the you movie mean. and see uh, yeah, the copyright yeah. too. <laughs> okay, excellent, uh, Maria Alejandra. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Juan Carlos, tell me, what do you think is the best job for you? What's the best job ever? Wow, uh, maybe musician, <laughs> a musician. Okay. Yeah, because the art of the music is amazing. And if you have the gift of uh, play whatever instrument and the voice also, uh, wow, you are you are done, right? You, you can enjoy the life and make others- uh, Enjoy it too. Enjoy it too, right. <laughs> okay, now, 
what do you think is the worst job for you, in your opinion? Wow, well, the worst, it could be maybe, mm, I, I don't want to be despective. Uh, diminishing. Diminishing, right, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but maybe, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, the the guys that uh, mm, um, take the garbage. And, yeah, um, the garbage man. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's hard, it's hard job. Thank you. Now let's see, Roxana, what about you? What do you think is the best job? I'm not sure, teacher, but um, I think that um, maybe a person who is in charge uh, to final area because they always are uh, making important decisions. Okay, and what do you think is the worst job? Um, well, for me, the worst is um, the jobs that needs to work in front of the client because uh, sometimes, for example, in a bank. Uh, so my, okay, so my, a bank teller. Uh, yeah, bank teller because they are always in hard callings with the yeah. client and it's not their fault. For me, it's the worst job because it's very difficult to try to um, have a good relationship with, the, with some clients. Okay. Interesting. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy. And that's the word I just texted to you, bank teller. Thank you. That's what we call, actually, Roxanne, I misunderstand. I might misunderstood you because what I told you, bank teller is the, the cajero. Mm, no, but in general. Um, when okay, I, yeah, the, whenever you have to deal with people, yeah. Yeah, I hate okay. people, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, no comments. Thank you, Roxana. Okay. Hey guys, well, the time has come for me to get the final attendance. Let me just tell you that I really enjoyed the class. Very interesting. Thank you for your participation. Uh, I hope you liked it. Because tomorrow, I have prepared more of the same. A lot of participation. I hope you like it. Now, let me get the final attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasto Medias. Present teacher. Thank you, Alejandro. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Okay, guys, let's see. Fernando, remember, tomorrow is your presentation. And 
please guys, the ones who have not finished working the platform section one, thank you very much. Hope to see you tomorrow. Enjoy your night. Bye bye. Okay, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Thank you to everyone. Thank you for your time, teacher. Take care, guys. Thanks to you.
Well, we regretfully nobody stayed tonight for the one-on-one -on -one session, but we will see tomorrow. Perhaps somebody else can stay tuned and connect. So, guys, thank you much. It was a pleasure. And see you tomorrow. Bye.